All right, so this is basically an old uh, refrigeration condensing unit enclosure. I got this from work. If you guys don't know, I work in the HVAC field. Uh, so I come across stuff like this all the time. And this one, uh, the unit, the compressor died in it. Basically, they wanted a whole new one. Uh, when we took this out, I decided to basically strip the condensing unit itself out and I just took the enclosure uh, for this project. So good thing about this is it's got a nice little handle. I can lift up and boom. So all that stuff's gonna be sitting right in here and easy access, I can just lift that up. Um, the rear is, hold up, I'll close that down. The rear is kind of open and I mean, there are little critters around here and I am gonna worry about them getting in there. So this, I am gonna put like screen, like the screen of a, uh, a window, window screen basically. I'm gonna put that over this uh, and the other one as well so that nothing can uh, live in there. Yeah, let's get to work on first taking all this kind of apart and then uh, put it in there. All right, so I've come back with some goodies. Here's the other whip that I had and I didn't end up using. So basically what I'm gonna do is basically extend this and then it's gonna go ahead, come up, and head on in here. It'll head out, it'll head out the side, and then head that way. All right, so we got a limited amount of daylight left here, and um, I did, I got the hose all set to go, so this uh, hasn't changed. Here's where I attached the other one, nice and tight there, and then I put the fitting on the end of the new one. So now, I should just be able to connect this all up here. That's connected, and just gets connected up right to the line out. cool the motor is getting nice and cool as well because the blowers are really right on it and I'm glad I was able to make everything fit so uh, it's real good the case rattles a little bit when I close this but um, all in all it's not that bad it's very tolerable I don't really care yeah back there a little bit but I'm not too worried about it again it's outside that's the whole reason this thing is outside so it can make as much noise as it wants away from the garage but boom here we go, we just have to put one little final touch on it and this thing is ready to rock and roll. So today I decided to get back to this. And as you can see, I've got a uh, bug zapper because uh, the bees are going crazy out here. I got some gloves, some wiffle ball bats, uh, and a mini shovel. Uh, because I'm, as you can see, I've kind of dug up some of the dirt. I'm leveling this now, this is getting leveled. Uh, and also if you've noticed, I neatened up the hoses here and I wrapped up these in electrical tape. Eventually I will get some like rings for this or something so that, you know, the electrical tape is just um, temporary because I don't want to have a rub out and then here, boom, and then uh, there goes all my air. So we did that. Um, same, the electrical I just have running out the back right now. Um, we'll make it more permanent later. Um, but yeah, it just, it looks a lot neater doing that. So yeah, there's the electrical you can see back there. And um, also, if you've noticed, I put in a, a piece of wood to help level this thing out. Um, and over here, obviously, I'm just, like I mentioned earlier, I'm just digging it out and I'm still in the midst of that, but that helps you know raise it on that side and it's gonna help lower it on that side to make it nice and level. All I have to do is raise the back at this point. So I'm gonna go get a piece of wood, put a little piece over here and a little piece over there on top of that other piece of wood. And it should be pretty much leveled after that. So let's get to work on that. All right, so here I cut these two pieces of wood, not the best cutting job, and this wood is rather weak, but it, it'll it'll do the trick. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these two on either sides and uh, hopefully that'll level this a little more. All right, so got it all level. It's looking really good. I'll put a leveler on it later. I'm sure it's gonna be a little off, but it's looking a lot better than what it was before, a lot cleaner. The issue is, is that this cover, I don't know if you can kind of see that, but it's not um, like on there right. It is cockeyed. So I, I do, I apparently have to put another like piece of wood in this back corner here because as soon as I lift it up the slightest bit, uh, it all goes back to the way it should. So looks like I'm gonna need another little piece of wood for over there, which shouldn't be too difficult. I'm gonna go work on that right now. And then this thing should pretty much be all set, leveled and all that fun jazz. Look at that. I think it still might be off by a tad bit, but we'll get the leveler and uh, see what the deal is. But that looks a heck of a lot better. It looks like it was actually nicely placed here instead of just thrown there. Almost dead center level. I'm uh, I'm rather shocked. And this is on the door too, so let me uh, move this back to here. 
this thing's, um, what's it, magnetic, so that helps. Yeah, look at that. Looking good. Oh, wow. Am I good or what? That's really good. So yeah, that this thing's all set. As far as I'm concerned, it's level. So what I'm gonna do now is grab some oh hang on, extension cord here. Um, I got three exterior screws, and I am going to drill uh, into the wood that I put down. So only three corners, because uh, that is just in dirt over there. Uh, and if you're wondering why I'm not pouring a concrete pad for this or anything, or putting like a pad down, this is probably gonna get pulled up within three years. I'm not gonna be in this house for much longer. Um, so I'm just kind of putting it here for now and then uh, maybe we'll do something like cement pad or something in the new place. But um, since this isn't gonna be here for like five, 10, 15 years, it's like I'm just gonna temporarily put it here a good enough for a few years and um, go from there. All right, so here we are, probably about what, eight months later? Not, I think nine months later now. Uh, it's January 7th, 2023, and um, we have this melting snow everywhere. Great, right? And here is the air compressor. Still here, still doing air compressor things. Um, that's just a spare tire from a car. Um, I did put a logo on it. I don't know if you guys saw the gray one um, in the past clip there from almost a year ago. Uh, I did put a black one over it, which I didn't do right because uh, it's now peeling off, but what are you going to do? I can always order another one. All right, now that I moved some things aside, it definitely, you know, looks weathered. It got weathered. Um, looking back here, I never did end up putting that screen on, but nothing's living in there, which is good. But again, you can see that it is, um, well, weathered again. Outlet's still doing fine. Let's lift it up. I'll show you guys what it looks like now. Here you go. And that rough spot is from when I drain the tank. I do, I try and drain it at least once a week during when I'm like really using it. And I will at some point put in an automatic tank drain, uh, especially when I use this thing a lot more, which this year I'm probably gonna be using it quite a bit. But I mean, you can see you know, there's spider webs, cobwebs down there. The front kind of has some stuff on it. And sometimes rainwater will splash this up uh, through those vents and it'll, it'll hit as you can see. But um, has not affected anything still turns over just fine even when it's like 15 degrees out um fires right up no issues at all so now i'll turn it over for you guys and yep i'll also you can see all the um what's it the paint or um tape the color of the tape has just completely worn off it's completely gone on this one uh, but this one is still just a little bit remaining and even this is fading um i doubt those are built to the outside but Lasted this long, so there you go. This is all still doing fine in there. So here we go. So there you go. That will pretty much conclude the air compressor project. Thank you guys for watching.